Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with, uh, man, what are these things called? It's been a while. Oh yeah, Ramen and Flash Review, Samsung Captivate. Let's get involved. All right, so as I mentioned, it has been a while. Uh, I believe it's been like two or three weeks, and I apologize for that. But this is Fasty 2.4 for the Captivate. So let's go ahead and fire it up. This is a KB1 ROM, and it's from Lost Logic 89 on the XDA Developers Forum. Um, basically, uh, some things that have been going on with me, because I've been so busy lately, uh, I have moved into my own small office, uh, specifically for mobiletechvideos.com, and I am targeting this full time. Uh, in particular, I've been very busy with the services side of things, but uh, I do want to get back into my YouTube channel. So, um, the boot animation is kind of cool. It's a couple of blue balls, yeah, I know, pun, dropping on a floor, and it's really cool, but in reality, there's only a few frames that make it up. So I'd like to see more, but who cares? This thing's fast, and you're already into the ROM itself. Um, there's a lot of launchers available. Uh, we've got the TouchWiz launcher, Sony Ericsson Home, and Android 7 Pro, which is pretty cool to see. Um, these launchers will give you a unique feel that you can kind of make and, um, you know, make your own. And we'll show you a little bit of each. So here's Android 7 Pro. Looks a lot like Windows. Obviously, we can see there uh, that we've got, um, you know, a, a very typical Windows looking thing. If we hit the start bar, we even get a start pop-up menu. And then we get my computer would be a file explorer with uh, Windows looking icons. If we went to Sony Ericsson Home, we would see the Sony Ericsson 5 icon dock at the bottom, fully configurable. And then a touch with type of horizontal scroller uh, there does not overlap. And then of course, TouchWiz is TouchWiz, and it's to be expected as TouchWiz, and it's the latest one, so it does overlap. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it as TouchWiz. A few things to note, as I mentioned, this is a KB1 ROM with a KB1 modem. That means it's based off official 2.2 Samsung Captivate sources, which means that if you're one of those guys that looks for a 2.2 ROM because you know that deep down, they technically are written off source based for just the Captivate, then this is a great ROM for you. Uh, up until recent, there haven't been a whole lot of things to pick from over the past few months as everyone's been so heavily uh, involved in gingerbread, but this is definitely a good candidate. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the display options as well as turn my screen timeout off and turn the brightness up a little bit too. I hate auto brightness. At least during these videos, do so. As I said earlier, there's custom fonts, custom uh, notification icons at the top. If we do a pull down, we see custom icons there, and um, we have a notification for Android 7 Pro. Um, to be honest, if you don't like it, just uninstall it. You won't see that, and it should go away. Uh, the Fasty at the bottom, it's pretty cool. It's got the little Android with the paned glass overlook. Uh, now, this is a fully overclockable, undervoltable. Not a word, I know. Uh, ROM, so you can do a lot with this. Uh, for unlock screens, it's got quite a few typical ones that we would see. Glass, Android, Epic, Rotary, and Star Wars Unlock. Um, it does have backlight notification support, voodoo sound, noise suppression with the audience chip, which means that you'll be able to talk with um, a lot of background noise in this, this you know, set of modem and kernel combo. We'll actually be able to differentiate that, whereas we know on the i9000 base, source that we're not able to do that. Uh, bloat has been removed. It has the rage patch, the fugu tweak, straight fright, uh, sorry, stage fright has been enabled. And uh, it's got Squite, Squite 3, which is the database editor, for those of you that like to play with the database itself. Now, there's a huge APN list, tethering works as you would expect, and the Dalva keep size has been changed to 32M to make garbage collection a little faster. Speaking of garbage collection, who remembers the TI-83 Plus and how it would garbage collect in the middle of playing a game or trying to do something on that back in, back in the old days, I don't know, five to 10 years ago. I don't even know what they're up to now, but that's what I thought of when I saw garbage collection listed in the change log. Anyways, just thought I'd let you guys know that. So. I'm going to flash a couple of themes and show those to you guys. Stay tight. All right, we're back, and this is the black theme for the Fasty ROM. It's got the honeycomb uh, type of look to it as far as uh, the unlock screen goes. 
And it's got a black phone app, black contacts app, black messaging along with black swipe integration. And the notifications itself are black as well. And it's changed up top as you can see we've lost our colors there. And we've got Fasty emblems all along the bottom. And I don't believe the settings, ah, they are black. They're full black settings. And let's take a look at our power menu. Also been reverted to black. Now let's take a look at the mellow theme. All right, we've got our Fasty mellow yellow theme up and running. And right out of the box, we see that we've got all our black apps that were black before now yellow, such as the phone, the contacts, the messaging is also yellow. A lot of yellow there on the swipe. The drop down is very tastefully done. I'm glad they went with black uh, backgrounds with yellow accents. And I actually kind of like that. I didn't think I would be a fan of that yellow at first, but I actually do like that. Uh, I don't like this, however. That's a lot of yellow. To the themer, I, I would try, how about trying, uh, I don't know, making that black with yellow, um, on the small side of things. But other than that, great job. And the settings, like this. This is exactly how I think you should make that menu. Um, personally, just an opinion. Uh, but other than that, great job. I actually do very much like this, and I didn't think I would. And I think it's actually really nice. Um, so that's what some of the yellows would look like. And our power control menu is solid yellow with blacks. Whereas I think the blacks with yellow lettering and icons would suit me better, but may, yeah, maybe that's just me. So that is Fasty 2.4 with the yellow theme and the black theme. Let's go ahead and power off and watch the Android dance. That's right, they even have a little custom shutdown uh, here. I believe they grab these things off the Korean devices. They seem to get the dancing Androids, uh, I've noticed. But uh, yeah, if you've been watching us and trying to keep, uh, keep an eye on us, we have set world's first paces for the Infuse. I just spent about 10 to 15 hours and cracked Droid Charge JTAG as well, which means I'll be able to fix the Droid Charge via JTAG. Um, if you are bricked, you're in the correct place. MobileTechVideos.com has serviced more bricks probably than more than anyone in, on the wor in the world uh, as far as a mail-in service goes. Uh, I would almost put my reputation on that. And uh, this is the place to be if you have a brick as well. So also don't forget about the download mode jig. Quick, easy access to download mode. As simple as popping that jig in and boom, you're in download mode. Also, if you can't get to that with the jig, JTAG is your friend and we're here for you. Check out the all new e-store in the link in the description below in the bottom. And uh, check out our entire new experience to buy uh, products and services from us. So anyways, if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for the latest content and updates. And if you have an interest in making videos for us, please contact me via our contact page at the top right of the navigation on every single page of our blog website. I'd love to have you on board as a reviewer and make videos for us as well. So I appreciate you guys for watching Fasties 2.4. Make sure to donate to Lost Logic 89 if you use and approve of this ROM because his hard work is definitely uh, worth a donation, 100%. So be sure to get that guy a donation, and we look forward to more from Lost Logic 89, as well as more ROM reviews uh, from us here at MobileTechVideos.com. Be sure to Facebook us, Twitter us, and uh, send us an email if you have any questions about any service that you need done on any device, and we'd love to do that for you. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.